Hello folks, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Just uh, gonna try and head down South Sea Lane. Although, I'm having second doubts. Change my mind, let's go elsewhere, stick to the main road. Heading towards Teddy, he said. Didn't fancy coming off my bike. Thought it would be okay down there, but as soon, bloody hell, look at that. As soon as I was in the shade, there's ice everywhere and snow. That doesn't bode well for this weekend. I'm actually hoping to go out on Saturday. It looks like it's gonna be the better day of the two. Well, if that's anything to go by, right here on the coast where it's been relatively milder, I wonder what it's gonna be like in the wolds over the weekend. It's supposed to get a little bit milder, but the milder weather doesn't really arrive till Sunday, and then it's gonna rain, so, I was hoping to uh, go out the better day or two, and I probably still will. But I'm not hoping to get a few hills in actually, because my February challenge, which may look like it was gonna, it's going to have to change, was to ride 15,000 meters. And what is it, the uh, 11th today? I don't think I've done about two and a half thousand meters. Because I've actually seen you for a while, but I hope you're all doing well. This weather has uh, just, well, I've not been able to ride in it really. And a little bit of lack of motivation as well. So last weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I was on a Zwift. Instead, I did out to Zwift, the horsemen route, I think that was uh, Saturday. And then, I haven't been Friday. I just haven't done a lot because of the weather really. Because as you know, it's not been that great, has it? So cold and icy and snowy and despite having thicker tyres on and it's not a mountain bike, they're not mountain bike tyres and they're uh, certainly not with tyres in the sense that they've got spikes on or anything so you can actually say I'm a little bit unfit for this coming weekend but I'm uh, thinking back 12 months ago I was living for the weekend then so what I've done for years, I didn't used to do big rides Monday to Friday. That was kind of a 2020 thing, but it's still sitting behind us now. Back to work. Gotta get used to uh, getting up early, doing an hour long rides. The days are getting a little bit longer. Sun rose at half seven this morning. Fantastic. Of course, too cold, too cold on the roads for biking. So I've turned my attention to walking the last week. I'm going to try and do 10,000 steps a day. Try and do 10,000 steps. So that's walk in the morning, walk in the evening, and walks on my 10 minutes morning and afternoon break. So options there. I'm only actually cycling to Teddy Lock today, so it's not going to be a long one. I'm going to be back with time to spare, I think. So that's. Oh, I won't tell you that I walk on the bike. I'll wait till I get to the lock. I'll stop there and show, show you what I've got. So which if you've been watching my last few videos, you'll know about already. But some tire was also taken up, pumping my foot tire up. It's lost a bit of air. Down to 20 psi. So that's back up to well I chose to put up to 60. I thought do we really need 70 in this kind of weather? Anyway. That's enough pumping it up. You've got to pump it up. Let's get to Teddy Lock. So we're here outside the Crow and an Anchor, Teddy Lock place that I've never been to and I'm gonna to add it to the, the growing list of places I'd love to visit once that lockdown's over with. I've seen the summertime, can I imagine out of a can imagine having a cider or a beer here looking out on the, the lock itself when things look less murky. But look at the weather it's fantastic isn't it? If it was like this in the summer, plenty of summer days, can you just imagine it sat out here? Oh seems like seems like such a long way off. I've just stopped here, this is my kind of my turnaround point. I've done 8k, so another short ride. I just want to show you a few things on the bike. Now, last time I spoke to you uh, about this C-Sense bag, 
the zip had snapped. Uh, they, uh, this came yesterday, replacement bag, very kindly, didn't cost me anything, so they've got a new bag on there, which is fantastic. This time though, I'm gonna make sure I don't overfill it. Whew. So yeah, this uh, jacket. You probably saw me wearing this uh, for Outlands and John O'Groats, and uh, I tell you, it's brilliant when you get, you know, in, in the morning, the cold morning, put your tent away, or you're wild camping and you're, you know, you're getting out your beefy bag and you're cold and everything. But when you're on it in the middle of the day, despite being winter time, and to be honest, our winters aren't cold, that cold enough to be wearing this because I'm absolutely sweltering. It's got to the fleece in it, so warm. So anyway, well, I didn't want to talk about jackets so much. I wanted to show you what else I've got. So my second Rock Brothers top shoe bag. This is in the rear position, around the seat post there. Yeah, there's no there's actually anything in these yet. <laughs> Packaging, tissue. So I'm just carrying a lot of stuff on the bike just to get used to the weight and things. No drink in there, which is just a shame because I could do with a drink. <laughs> yeah, the bike's pretty much the same as that, as the last time I showed you. This I'm hoping to fill with coffee this weekend. Oh, dreamy. Nice hot coffee on a, on a winter's morning. Oh, that'd be great. Going to be closely watching the weather forecast to find out how the patch the uh, far out actually going to be able to get out and ride. Anyway, best turn around and get back home. Okay, I'm heading back now. Just left the lock. Just take this opportunity to say a big welcome to if you, uh, well, if you're a new viewer to the channel. I hope you stick around. Lots of long distance stuff, tips and advice. No doubt there'll be some wild camping going on this year as well, which brings me nicely to uh, what I discovered for today. The boss at work said to me, oh, I've got a YouTube channel. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, what's it about? Family things and stuff like that. And it turns out he likes wild camping as well. The most subscribed teacher was channels. Big thank you to uh, everybody who has uh, donated to uh, my channel and shown their support. If you wanna join those people, just head to uh, the link, the buy me a coffee link below the video. You can buy me a bacon butty or a virtual coffee. That money sort of goes towards, well really it just gets reinvested back into the channel. I'm always buying something. So it's either coming out new, or something breaks. I'd actually love to save up for a, a Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera. Did you, uh, well today is, when's it Thursday or Wednesday? I don't know. I think it's Thursday today. Did you hear about the uh, record cold in uh, Brahma, Brahma? We call it, let's call it Brahma, Scotland. Minus 23 degrees caused this since uh, 1955. Wow. That's uh, <laughs> just looking at my jacket there. I think uh, this outkit jacket will probably come in really useful in that sort of temperature. But here on the East Coast, I've not seen any frost this week, despite all the snow on and off every evening. There's not really been any frost. I don't know, is that something to do with because it's dry here rather than you know, perhaps the humidity has to be higher for frost to appear. Don't know. Perhaps it's just because you're here on the East Coast. All I can tell you is there's been a strong wind all week, which has also kept me off the bike. Not just the uh, icy patches. I probably could have got away with just riding around town this week on the main roads and things like that. But that wind been gusting between 30 and 50 miles an hour all week long. Good wind direction actually for Saturday. Right now it's a south easterly. So that means if I do head into the wolds or just off down the coast, it'll be a nice bumper tailwind. And I love heading south from home. Don't really head north from home very often. Perhaps I should do a bit more, especially this time of year when you get a lot of uh, Northerly components of the wind. It's very rare that I go over the Humber Bridge, which if you're a regular viewer, you probably know already. I don't go to the North Island that often. I think 
I think it's six weeks to go. I'm hoping to do an Everesting at Tetford Hill in Lincolnshire. Six weeks away. Given how crap this winter has been over the last few weeks and opportunities to ride and things, I do wonder how I'm going to be come the end of March. I've not really done much on Swift. I don't like indoor riding. I want to do a core training session every day. Not done that because I don't like exercise. <laughs> not that kind of exercise. I want the gyms to be open. Who's missing gyms? If you're missing the gyms, what's the bit you're missing the most? What sort of training do you do in the gym? Is it running? I'd do that outside. Is it weights? Is it rowing? I love rowing. I don't know why. It's just I like doing rowing. Or I don't like doing weights. I don't know. Some of my activities I don't really need to push myself to get doing. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. Once again, as always, hope you have a great week and a great weekend. Hope that weather stays, you know, gets a bit better for outdoor riding. Let me know what you've got, got any plans, what you're up to. Right, for me, take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. How I love this bend, not 